Uh, land cover basically is a term we use to describe the vegetation, um, the physical surface of the earth. And in our perspective, it has to do with what type of vegetation is on the ground and what, what, that, what sort of services that provides. So what sort of land cover changes are we expecting in the country? Well, uh, there are multi multiple cover changes we could see. One of the most dramatic is the um, phenomena called bush encroachment or woody thickening where we see the emergence of shrubs or trees into previously grassed ecosystems. So um, we have historical photographs that show conversion from grassland in the past to, to woody uh, systems at the moment. Now that has a lot of consequences uh, for water resources, ecosystem services, a term uh, called albedo which has to do with the uh, reflectivity um, and uh, results in different heating effects and it also of course has to do with livelihoods, uh, rangelands, the ability for people to graze animals and for agriculture to, to, to be grown in those regions. Um, so that's probably one of the major changes that we've seen in southern Africa is a major encroachment of woody shrubs into grassy systems. So land cover is really important because if you think about it Everyone really depends on the surface of the earth for their livelihoods, be it ecosystem services like water, agriculture or food, uh, biodiversity. Um, everyone's really tightly coupled to what the land cover is. And so changing land cover uh, has the potential to affect everyone. So we really, it, it really is important. So the, the next generation of, of scientists, uh, as we're calling it, is really an attempt to meld several disciplines that uh, focus on issues relating to land cover. Both people who look at vegetation itself, people who look at human livelihoods, people who look at um, biogeochemical fluxes and uh, the physical effects of the, of the land cover process, and people who attempt to model this. Uh, and really that means bringing together people who look at the past, people who look at the present, and people who look at the future. Pulling all those people together really would, uh, is what we're calling sort of the next generation approach for tackling these issues. So what we've seen in the past is sticking within narrow disciplines doesn't really allow us to examine the earth as a system. It ends up uh, us looking at our specific focuses and uh, foci and it's really difficult to, to make progress in that regard. So bringing together these different disciplines um, really is necessary to attack the, the global nature of these problems. The fact that everything really is connected and we have an earth system approach if we can pull together these disciplines. So, so the plan for bringing people together first is to really establish a dialogue amongst uh, people interested in terrestrial systems at a diversity of scales and start asking where can we really make progress, where can we have a big impact uh, both as South African scientists, African scientists and then also um, in the global context. So we really hope in the next five to, year, five to ten years to get a bit of momentum with the group, uh, be able to find um, funding to tackle complex experiments that we lack the ability to, to, to fund at the moment, but mainly pull together the intellectual resources to span scales uh, from physical, ecological and sort of human livelihood angles. Uh, within the next five to ten years we'd really like to see some large experiments being um, moved forward, uh, coupled with modelling approaches and coupled with um, socio-economic information.